All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do this video for you guys today because you guys know I like to paint everything off the vehicle. And sometimes the cars have underhood colors. So I'm going to show you how I go about doing the underhood color, even though I'm painting this thing all apart, how I do the underhood and spray the outside of the car all at the same time and have both colors on it. So here is the job. We have the door off. We have the fender, the bumper and the hood. So any of you guys in the business know how these under hood colors aren't the same as the outside on these reds. And it's more of a darker solid color. And that's it here. So in order to duplicate this to make it factory, and you guys know I like to have all my work to look like it hasn't been done. I have to put this color here on the edge of this fender and then underneath the hood. So what I do is I get coverage with my outside color and once I get my coverage on, I go ahead and mix my under hood color. I even put the original color on the top first, just one coat underneath. But once I get coverage on the outside of the car, I'll go ahead and put my under hood color underneath, under the hood and on the edge of this fender here. That way when I put my two drop coats on, it mists right over the top of this, just like it would at the factory. And the same thing is under the hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and put the under hood color under the hood, put it on the edge of this fender, and then I'll show you how I duplicate the factory look, doing it all at one time. So let's get into it. All right, so here's the car that we're actually doing that hood for. And uh, you guys see here, it's got the shiny, then it goes into the satin with the under hood color. And then see here on the strut tower, it's got that red satin and then the outside is the factory. So this is what we're trying to duplicate here on this side here. And that fender is going to line up to this here. So we want it to look OE. And then later on, once we get this fender on, we'll go ahead and touch up the bolt heads and this thing will be all factory. So you guys see the hinges are actually the under hood color too. So that's why you have to do the right color underneath the hood. So that's what we're going for. All right, so you see how I sprayed just the edge of this here inner fender lip, because that's gonna meet up now to the apron and the area over here by the strut tower, which is the exact color as this now. So once this fender goes on, it won't look like we replaced it at all. So we just hit the edge. And now when I do my control coat, that metallic will dust back over that lightly, just enough to have the factory look. So let me show you what I did on the hood. And this is the way that I do it. So I sprayed one coat under this hood of the original outside color. And when I sprayed the inside with the under hood color, I stayed off of my edges. Cause you guys know on the factory cars, you see some of the outside color coming around the bottom, just around the outside edge of the hood. So when I sprayed the under hood, I stayed in the middle and blended it back into the OE color on the edge. And now when I spray the outside with my control coats, the little bit that dust over here on the edge will give it the perfect factory sheen for an OEM look. So I just wanted to do this video for you guys that may be trying to paint cars apart also, but you wanna have the factory look. That way these cars don't look like they've ever been uh, in an accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and control this We'll clear it. I'll show you how I do the under hood with the clear and then I'll show you the job all finished up. That way you can see how it comes out when it's all done. So let's finish it up.
All right, guys, it's all dropped. And now we have the under hood looking like it's supposed to. And the outside is metallic. And this is flat. It's got a little bit dusted over from that little drop coat, but still has that under hood color there. So let's go look at the hood now and I'll show you how that looks. I'm not sure how much you guys can see in this, but the edge has got the factory color all the way around. And then it's got the under hood in the middle just like it was on the original hood that was on this. So you guys know we're duplicating the factory. That way this thing never looks like nothing ever was done to this thing. So that's how I do it. And now when we clear it, we'll hit this edge, make sure this is shiny just around the edge and the stuff that blows in will be enough to seal that hood underneath for any kind of uh, solvent or cleaners that are used later on. So let's go ahead and clear it and I'll show it to you all finished up. All right guys, so you see it came out nice. And when I did the uh, top of the fender, I put tape on there and on my last coat after I was done, we pulled the tape and dusted it. You guys seen me do that just so that way that this is actually treated. You could mix the uh, under hood color with the engine bay, but I don't see it necessary when I dust it with the clear. I've been doing this for years. So definitely the way to do it all at one time and get it done right the first time and uh, don't have to cut nothing in. But now you got the factory look, outside's done, inside's done. You guys seen under the hood, I went ahead and cleared the edge and it's got the factory color all around the inside of the edge of this with the clear and then it goes into the satin just like it was factory. So I hope you guys got something out of this one. I was doing this job and I thought maybe this would be good for you guys to see how I do the cut in with a different color, second color setup. Make sure you get paid for it too on the estimate and do it all at one time. That way you got nothing coming in twice. You just do it once, get it done, do it right and uh, get it through the booth. So we'll see you on the next one.